Hi everybody, thank you for uh, joining me again as we continue to um, reflect on the glorious book of Colossians in our New Testament. A letter written by Paul and Timothy to a community, uh, not just one church, but a whole community around the city of Colossae and uh, lots of different groups of Christians meeting in different ways. Um, over the last few weeks, we've been looking at the first couple of chapters of Colossians, and today we reach chapter 3 and verse 1. But just as by way of context then, Paul um, has talked about already um, the, the kind of rule keeping that was uh, something that, of a false teaching that was going on around Colossae and how uh, Paul was trying to counter that by uh, referring back to what Christ has done, the freedom that Christ has won for us. Uh, and so it is in chapter 3 and verse 1, he starts like this. Since then you have been raised with Christ. Set your hearts on things above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. So as I say, Paul and Timothy have been emphasising that you're set free from human rules and regulations. Christ has come, Christ has died for us to, to set us free. It is by grace we are saved, not by works, not by the, the things that we do, the, the tick lists that we, uh, that we are able to check off. Uh, and through that process, through our acceptance of Christ as Lord, as King, as Master, we have been raised with Christ. We'll think uh, a little bit more about what that means uh, in the next day or two. But given that we have this new status, if you like, we have this new um, presence as people who are made different because of Christ, because of the grace of God that is exhibited and revealed in his Son then uh, our whole attitude is to change. So, uh, and this affects both our heart and our mind. And the, this kind of double whammy, if you like, of um, making sure that our heart is in a good place, that we are, we are filled with love, we're filled with an awareness of God's love. Uh, and that we recognize that, we reflect upon that, we, we, we rejoice in that. So set your hearts on things uh, above. So we're setting our hearts on how do we kind of engage, connect with God the Father because we have been raised with Christ. So that affects our emotions. It affects our, our kind of whole sense of self-worth. It affects the, the motivation with which we try and do things. But then it, our minds as well set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. So again, what we're to do is to think about um, how do we live? How do we behave? How are we to be uh, changed because of God's gift to us through Christ? Let's think about that. Let's analyze that. Let's work it out. God has made us to be intellectual beings. Uh, he's given us brains for a reason uh, and one of those reasons is is to enable us to think about how do we live we're not just kind of puppets or, or dogs that are just being dragged around on a lead um where wherever we don't want to go we're given minds to think about where do we want to be how do we want to live and most importantly how do we reflect god's grace and god's glory and god's love in the way that we do that so I'm going to pause there until tomorrow, but let's uh, be about setting our, our hearts and our minds on things above, the things that are of God. Uh, and let's pray now how to do that. Lord God, thank you for making us as you've made us. Thank you for the people we are with the, with the hearts and emotions and desires that we have uh, and with the minds and the intellect and the ability to think for ourselves that we have as well. Help us to use these things for your glory. Amen. God bless, and uh, I'll be back tomorrow. Take care.